Facebook Live. How in the world are you doing out there, folks? It's your friend Andy McKee here. I'm gonna play a few tunes on the guitar tonight. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, also wanted to let you all know, I got a bunch of shows coming up uh, in Europe, and that's in just a few weeks. Heading over there, playing all over the place. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about that more in a minute. We start uh, by playing you some tunes. So let me start with this one. This is my new. Uh, Andy McKee signature guitar from uh, Michael Greenfield. I just got this a few weeks ago, and uh, it probably looks familiar. It's it's exactly the same as all my other ones that I've had. <laughs> but um, McCaster ebony back and sides. Some people are wondering what the back and sides look like on that. So, yeah, there's and there's there's the uh, light fixture at the top of the room if you'd like to see what that looks like. There you go. Hey guys. Hey Janet. Hey Mark. Hey everybody. How you doing? Okay. I'd start, I'd start, first day with the new tongue, sorry, I thought I'd start, I thought, uh, I would start, <laughs> good night, how are you doing? I thought I would start with this tune, this is one I don't play too often because the tuning is really weird, uh, sometimes I break a string tuning up for this tune, uh, but uh, I was able to successfully get this tuned up first for you tonight, so this is, uh, this is a tune from uh, many years ago that I dedicated to a friend when he was married on July 14th. And uh, so this tune is called 714. Hope you like it. Here we go. Yeah, man, there you go. 714. 
How y'all doing out there? Boy, so many nice comments out there. Thank you all so much. So nice to uh, to receive that stuff and read it. Thank you very much. I've actually been sick this last week. You can probably he hear uh, I've got this sinus thing going on. Boy, I've been sick so many times this year. It's ridiculous. I was getting depressed. It's like, oh, I'm sitting in bed. I can't do nothing. I'm so tired. I want to do nothing. And then I get to come on here and you guys, you guys, you're so kind with your lovely words. Thank you very much. So kind. Oh my gosh. So there you go. That was 714. And uh, yeah, getting over this sinus infection. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, so yeah, man, what have I been up to lately? Um, yeah, I had a nice couple weeks there. Like I said, I just got this new guitar a few weeks ago. This is from Michael Greenfield, of course, as usual. My, my man, he's my builder. He is the genius up in Montreal building these things. And uh, just got this one. Uh, a few weeks ago, and it's beautiful. It's that Andy McKee signature model. Michael Greenfield. Go to Greenfield Guitars if you'd like to learn more about that. Um, before I was there, I was out in Rhode Island and uh, played at a cool festival up at the University of Rhode Island. And it was a really cool, um, sort of mainly classical guitar, but uh, I was kind of an unusual elect uh, steel string <laughs> guitar player there. And uh, it was a lot of fun to do that. And uh, uh, what else after that? I played in Moab, just outside of Moab, Utah, um, about a week ago, and that was amazing. I don't know if you, any of you people out there have been to Moab, but whew, it's like you're on another planet over there. It's just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful uh, stone formation, sandstone. It's like you're standing next to a 300-foot wall of rock, and it's just amazing. And Arches National Park is out there. That was super cool. Uh, and then I went and saw John Petrucci on his solo tour out in Los Angeles, well, Anaheim. And uh, that was killer because he was playing with Mike Portnoy, so it was really neat to see them play together. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to another tune. Um, let me switch over to the baritone and uh, keep things rolling. Hey, everybody. Hey, Robbie. Hey, uh, Mr. Mishkin out in, in Russia, my former student out there. How you doing, bud? <clears throat> yeah, cool man. Let's get you guys some tunes on this puppy too tonight. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. Trying to get some of these requests in. What's up, Nick Hepps? Alright, well, here's one on the baritone for you now. And I uh, hope you dig this one too. This is that title tune from that 2005 album. Whoa, we're coming up on 20 years ago. Isn't that ridiculous? This is a tune called Art of Motion.
All right. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> okay. Getting some of them requests in. I saw Heather's song a few times. I could do that quickly. No problem, bro. <laughs> cool. How do I come up with titles for tunes? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, sometimes they're, they're you know, uh, they're dedicated to people or places. Hey, Maddie's Arm. That tune in particular, Art of Motion, that was, uh, I was actually at a festival in Oklahoma with Maddie Zarb, who just commented a moment ago. He's an Australian musician doing good stuff in London these days, I think. And uh, anyway, I asked the audience, like, what should I title this tune? Because I didn't know what to title it. And uh, a lady told me I should call it Art of Motion because that was the name of her uh, ballet studio. <laughs> I thought it sounded cool, so there you go. Oh yeah, hard motion. <laughs> cool man. All right. When does the new album drop? All right. So I just had an album. Hey Daniel, by the way, nice to see you. Um, what is it? The new album. So I just had Pulse come out not too long ago. And that is a, uh, a totally wacky thing. Maybe some of you heard it. Maybe some haven't. Haven't. But it's uh, a tune. Or a tune. Well, I'm just out of it. I got too many pharmaceuticals. I'm just all stuffed, stuffed up with. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit out of it. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Pulse was a collection of tunes. It was a uh, zero guitar on it, and it's really kind of chilled out, relaxed music. So you can check that out if you're not familiar with it. Um, and, uh, but there's a new album, it's a trio album, with uh, my friends Callum Graham and Trevor Gordon Hall. Beautiful humans, wonderful musicians, and we created a really special album, I think. I, I, I can actually listen to it myself, which is unusual. I don't ever listen to my own music. And uh, I can listen to that one, basically because the other guys are on it, you know? I don't have to focus on my own playing so much and be like, oh, this is horrible. But, uh... Anyway, that, that trio album's coming out next year. It's uh, f finally getting finished up with mixing and mastering and production and stuff. And then we got to promote it for like four months, you know. So it's probably going to be like the spring of next year. So that's the trio album. But I can't wait for you all to hear it. I'm, I'm sure you're going to love it. It's, it's really something special. And, and uh, it's going to be McKee, Graham, and Hall is the name of the group. We got real creative. <coughs> excuse me. We got real creative with the title there. Yeah. But anyway, jibba jabba all day long, better play a song. This is a tune called Heather's Song from my sister, Heather.
Oh yeah. Hey folks. Howdy. Howdy everybody jumping in, joining in. Having a little, little uh, party in here. Thank you very much for coming and checking it out. Do I use open tunings? I do. Uh, not on this tune in particular though. This is a baritone acoustic guitar. And this is uh, standard intervals, but on the baritone. So all the normal chord shapes that we've all grown to love since we were young children still work on here. But uh, it's all a fourth lower. So that's how that works. Um, yeah. Cool, man. Thank you all very much. Let's see. Might have missed a couple of questions there. Sorry. I'm kind of screwing around playing guitar. But uh, <laughs> let's see. Maybe I'll switch over to that. The new one. Back to the new one. Thank you, Abraham. Thank you very much, sir. All right, set this puppy here. <laughs> hey, from Italy, how you doing? All right. Oh no. Oh, okay. Let me let me read that. I gotta push C more to read that. There we go. Cool. Hey, Daniel. All right, man. Thanks for joining us tonight. There you go. <clears throat> What, what's your open tuning? Okay, so open tunings. I use a lot of different ones, uh, a lot of different tunings. Um, and uh, gosh, I don't know how many. I have no idea. A lot, though. I don't know if I have a favorite one. Um, but there, there is a tuning that I've written a few few songs in. It goes from low to high. E, C, D, G, A, D. That's from sixth string to first string. E, C, D, G, A, D. And uh, yeah, people curious about the new guitar. Yeah, so I showed it off a little bit on the on the first tune, but uh, here you go. It's it's your standard Amy McKee signature model from Greenfield Guitar, so it looks pretty much like all the other ones. Um, but you know, yeah, it's got that fan fret, and I uh, got the bevels front and back there, and uh, Macassar ebony back and sides once again. As per usual. All right. And fan frets. Uh, oh, some nice tuners going on up there. You know it. Go tell. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, too. Everybody was saying, what's up with that new guitar? It's it's that one. Yeah, man. It's killer. It's the best guitar in the universe. That's just the way it is. <laughs> All right. So, uh, sick. There you go. I actually have a tour coming up, as I mentioned, so I should probably mention those dates. Where am I going anyway? Thank you. Saw me in Portland. Thanks, Christian White. All right. So, shortly after Thanksgiving, I'm headed over to Europe, and I'm going to be kicking things off in Denmark, folks. Uh, everyone in Europe is probably asleep right now, so this is a bit of an unusual time. Or maybe they're just waking up, uh, some of those early risers over in Europe. But uh, maybe they'll see this tomorrow. But here you go, all you Americans that are watching this, here's where I'm playing in Europe. <laughs> uh, Denmark, November 29th in Odense, uh, November, tw November 30th in Copenhagen. And then we're going over to Germany for a bunch. Here's December 1st in Munich, December 2nd in Dresden, December 3rd in Cologne, December 4th in Darmstadt. Uh, interesting fact, Darmstadt, uh, that means uh, intestine... Intestine Road, I think, maybe, uh, in a little translation in German. I might be wrong on that, but anyway. Uh, December 6th, Hamburg. December 7th, Essen. December 8th, in Berlin. Okay. Uh, December 9th, over in Paris. My single French gig this time around. By the way, this is my first time back in Europe in about three years, I think, since pre-COVID. Pre so, um uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're just kind of getting our feet wet again back over there. So I'm sorry to all my French fans that I only have one gig in, pa in, in, in France, in Paris. Uh, and hopefully next time we'll get a few more uh, around. Odense, sorry, Odense is the name of the place in Denmark. Thank you, sir. Um, all right, so where was I? December 9th was Paris. Jumping over the, uh, the uh, channel there to London. December 11th, London. December 12th, Milton Keynes. Of course, these are in the United Kingdom at this point. December 13th, Manchester. And December 14th, Glasgow up in Scotland. And finally, last gig of the year, December 15th, Dublin, Ireland. 
All right. Looking forward to every one of those shows. And I hope some of you folks can make it if you're, uh, if you're uh, awake over there in Europe checking this out. Uh, or if you see this tomorrow. I hope, uh, I hope I'll get to see you somewhere on one of those, one of those gigs. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. As usual, I always have such a great time in Europe. All right. What do we got next? Let's see. What in the world was I going to do? Uh... Let's get that high string back down. That's F sharp. Tuning first, everybody's favorite part of the show. Oklahoma, boy, it's been a while. Sorry, haven't been there sooner. Oh, saw me at the Rochester Jazz Fest. Hey, thanks. That was fun. I have played, excuse me, I have played in Sweden. Um, Gothenburg, and uh, <clears throat> what's the capital? Um, it's escaping my head right now. Fool. I can't think of the capital of Sweden, but played there too. But it's been a little while. Pre COVID, of course, several years ago. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, some people were shouting for this one. Shouting. Typing for this one. Yeah, I literally just played Heather's song. Sorry you missed it. You can watch the replay, though. I'll be sure to post that. Do I have perfect pitch? No, I don't think so. Pretty close. I've got pretty good relative pitch, though. Um, but no, I don't have perfect pitch, I'm afraid. I wish I did. All right, let's see if I can pull this puppy off. <coughs> Red Rocks, Colorado, boy. I need about 10,000 more people to come to my show if I can play Red Rocks. Good night. No, I, I, I can't. I can't play Red Rocks. I'm not that famous, unfortunately. Stockholm. There you go, Stockholm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't think of Stockholm for life. Where are you? All right, I think we're just about there. All right, here's uh, My Life as a CPA. I saw that pop up a few times. Let's see if I can get away with playing it and not messing up.
<laughs> yeah. Wow. There we go. Ooh, yeah. My life is a CPA. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that was a goofy tune written about what if I never found the guitar, I guess. And yeah, what if I ended up as a some completely unrelated to music, like a certified public accountant. That's what that was, so. <laughs> All right, man. What else is shaking? Oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Um, tune that puppy up. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Tim. What happened to, oh, excuse me, what happened to Craig D'Andrea? Well, that's funny, he butt dialed me the other day. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And uh, he was going into a, a hardware store with his son. He's got a little son these days. And uh, I said, hey, what are you doing? He said, oh man, sorry, I butt dialed you. I was like, oh, it's all good, how you been? He's like, good, man. He's like, hey, I gotta let you go. I got my kid with me, and we're just about to go into the store, so I'll butt dial you again someday here in a couple years. <laughs> he's always been hilarious, man. Love that guy. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of gotten busy, you know, and and uh, he's, he's, he's an amazing guitar player, written some really great tunes, but uh, he's kind of kind of moved in another direction, I'm afraid, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess you might say, sometimes. But he's doing well. That was good. <laughs> Play something that influenced your style. I could do that. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Sorry, I'm getting kind of still dealing with a uh, upper respiratory infection at the moment. Sorry if I sound a bit strange and all that. Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it's been about eight months or more, nine months. I'll try to get back up there. I'm sure I'll get back there next year. So, um, you know, a good thing too, if you guys want to stay in touch with what I'm doing as far as touring, you can sign up for my mailing list. I know that sounds lame and like prehistoric, but uh, <laughs> I do send out an email uh, to, to followers, you know, maybe once a quarter. So you might get four or five emails a year from me. But just to let you know if I'm coming to your, your area and stuff, so if you're having a hard time keeping track of if I'm coming to your area, consider signing up for my email list. And that's on my website, AnnieMcKee.com, of course. So, All right, somebody said, play something that uh, inspired you. So here's here's a tune from, uh, hey, I did Heather's song earlier, Joey. That's funny, boy, I get a lot of Heather's song uh, requests tonight, but... Uh, I did it earlier, and I'll be sure to put this video up on, on my Facebook page so y'all can rewatch it if you'd like and, and catch Heather's song again that way. But uh, anyway, something that influ influenced me, here you go. I can't remember who asked me to do that. But uh, here's a tune that was on my Symbol EP from last year, and uh, that was a collection of tunes that inspired me, and this one's on there, of course, from the late, great maestro Michael Hedges. Uh, this is a tune called Ragamuffin from Michael Hedges. Okay.
What a tune, man. That's that's uh, Ragamuffin from Michael Hedges, guys. Yeah. What a tune. Love it. Love every moment of that. I love playing it. I love hearing it. Oh, oh, oh everything about it is just so good. Whee! All right. Well, let's see. All right, the reason I saw somebody wanted to hear that. I think I saw that a few times popping up. So let me go ahead and hit that puppy for you. All right, cool, man. Glad you like Pulse. Thank you very much. Totally out of left field, I know. Some people are like, what are you doing? Where's the guitar, bro? Have you gone mad? Have you gone mad? Well, yes, but otherwise, just wanted to do, a, do something different, you know, on the old music front. So that was the, uh, the Pulse EP. I do can with your guitar. I'm not sure how to do that. Hello, again. How do you do that with a guitar? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll try and do all that. Thanks, Trapper. My friend. All right. What is the tuning for that one? Let's see. Up a bit there. Yeah, a few questions there. Um, strings, I use medium gauge um, Ernie Ball Paradigm strings. And uh, yeah, the synth and electric guitar, the kind of 80s thing, yes, that's still in the works too. Sorry, I've always got too many things going on, I guess. But, uh, but yes, that's still in the works. But next up is the uh, the trio album coming out in the spring next year. That's already been recorded and just getting mixed and mastered now. And then we got to produce production, promotion, blah blah blah. So much stuff. That'll be in the spring. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm just having fun. I guess I should keep going, Cliff. Right. Oh, I remind you of Leo Kotke. Good night. He's the godfather. Good night. Wow. That's very kind. I, I appreciate that. Okay. How many of my songs are on the trio album? I think five or six? Here we go. This is a tune called The Reason. Wrote this for my boys. We got two boys. Uh, this would be Lachlan and Brandon. They're 11 and 9 now. So how about that? This is for my kids. Hope you like it. It's called The Reason. Thank you. 
Oh, bow, yeah, boo, yeah, what that? Yeah, there you go. That was uh, the reason. <laughs> and no, I'm not reading any sheet music. I'm just looking at uh, the screensaver on my computer over there. It's just putting up random words and giving descriptions of uh, dictionary. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Putting words in the, the meanings of the words. Yeah, so like there's the word frangible just went by. Uh, forthcoming, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, sorry, I'm a total goofball over here. Yeah, there you have it. All righty, so maybe I should be getting out of here before too long, though. <laughs> so once again, I do have a tour coming up. Hitting up. You're up. Hitting up, you're up coming up. That's about all that. And uh, November 29th, Odense in uh, Denmark. November 30th, Copenhagen. I better go over these one more time. Uh, December 1st, Munich. December 2nd, Dresden. The 3rd is in Cologne or Kuhn. How's that? 4th uh, is Darmstadt. 6th is Hamburg. 7th is Essen. 8th is Berlin. 9th is Paris. 11th is London. 12th is Milton Keynes. 13th is Manchester, 14th Glasgow up in Scotland, love those folks. And uh, hey, the Muhammad, how you doing, bud? Hey, you want to come to the Glasgow show? Are you still in Scotland? Where you at, man? Uh, 15th is in uh, Dublin, Ireland. There you go. Wow, how's that? <laughs> All righty. Uh, let's see. Booyah. Have I thought of doing Christmas tunes? I have not. There's a lot of Christmas tunes already out there. <laughs> Sorry, that's a goofy joke. Um, I haven't really, I don't know, I, I just haven't felt compelled to do Christmas music. I don't know, I'm sorry about that. I have been asked that many times, but... Hey, did, did you see me at Weird Al? You did see me at Weird Al. I'm friends with uh, Jim West, the guitar player. I did go to the, the Weird Al concert. I did. That was me. <laughs> yes, Scotland. I'm playing in Glasgow. Just the one show, Glasgow. One show, Glasgow. Black is my favorite color. This is true. Yeah, Shay, come on out to Glasgow. It's going to be at uh, the Orin Moor, that beautiful venue, if you know it. Ever come to the Midwest? I'm in the Midwest right now. I'm in Kansas. But, uh, yes, we should have some shows here in the Midwest uh, next, uh, next year. Please don't do Christmas music. Okay, I won't. Okay. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I should do that one, yeah. South Carolina. All right. All right. <laughs> you could be the Mariah Carey of acoustic Christmas tunes. Kill me now. No. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Let's put this on. Philippines, hey, buddy? That is far from here. I've never made it there. I remember early on, man, that was some of my first fans were in the Philippines. Getting a lot of comments on the old videos and stuff. And people playing drifting from the Philippines like a month after it came out. So these people know what they're doing in the Philippines. Good night. <laughs> Ocala, what's up? Nice, man. It's been a while. Chile, wow. Never been down there. Need to. I would love to get down there. Yeah, Charleston. Man, I was supposed to play there a couple months ago. Show got canceled. Oh, lame. I'm not sure what happened, but hot mess in the city. Sorry we didn't make that happen. Return to Seattle, you betcha. Triple door, that's where I was last time, but I guess that was maybe that was April, so that's a while ago. I'll get back there. Promise. Absolutely. I have played Japan indeed quite a few times, even even before the YouTube stuff took off for me. I played in Japan. I, I toured over there with Isato Nakagawa and uh, Masaki Kishibe, and then I went back again and toured with Masa Sumide and got all over the place, and I just, I love the culture there, I love the language, I love the food. Nihongo ga sukoshi wo karimasu, demo mara jozu ju arimasen. That's about all I know. But uh, yeah, Japan, love it. Actually, that was the last place I played right before COVID happened too. 
got home and then suddenly the country was locked down. America, everybody was locked down. Any, any, oh, Taft Theater, Cincinnati, yeah. That'd be nice to get back to. All right, folks, here's one more. Uh, this was requested a few times out there. So let me try this out. This is Rylan. Yeah. <laughs>
guys. <laughs> I got to call it there, I'm afraid. But uh, that just means you got to tune in next time, okay? And uh, I'll do one more before the end of the year. Uh, like I said, I got to head out to uh, Europe here in just a couple weeks, and I'll be touring around there for about three weeks. I'll get home mid December, and then I think we'll do one more McKee Monday. I'll, I'll get some more of these tunes y'all are typing in. And uh, gosh, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all the kind words in the chat bar there. I've been trying to read them all, and uh, sure makes a fellow feel good. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a good night, and uh, until the next time, we can meet up either online or in person. You take care, and uh, I'll look forward to that next time, okay? Peace. Be good.